Let's talk about The Wolverine. So this is the sequel to X-Men Origins Wolverine, as well as a sequel to X-Men Last Stand, as this takes place years after X-Men The Last Stand, where Wolverine is dealing with Jean's death as he goes to Japan to meet with this Japanese soldier who Wolverine saved his life during the war, and the soldier wants to say goodbye to him. But of course, things go south, as all of a sudden Wolverine's healing factor isn't working, and he is trying to protect the guy's granddaughter, and with this film, we get Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine, and he is completely shredded. He took advice from The Rock on how to get swole, and it worked. And we also get some interesting side characters like Yukio and Mariko. And we also get Famke Jansen back as Jean Grey as he is having hallucinations of her. And those parts of the film was done pretty well. They did a good job with her haunting Wolverine. And with the film, it has like a western samurai type feel to it as it felt like it blended the two very well together. As it's like Wolverine is like a cowboy in this samurai world. But with the film, of course, we get great Wolverine accent, as this probably has the best Wolverine accent to date. And I liked how like, they adapted some stuff from the Japan comics. Even though, let's be real, it's not truly accurate, but yet it is still entertaining. But back to the accent with how Wolverine is, it continues to show that he is the best at what he does. And what he does isn't very nice. But the film does have some flaws. I do feel like that the antagonist wasn't all that great, didn't really have much to them, they just felt a bit bland. And the final act just felt different to how the other acts of the film was. As there were just some things that just didn't turn out right. Didn't really come together right as they should have. Especially with the villains, like we have Viper, Silver Samurai, and I do think they could have just been written much better. Or Silver Samurai not being the size of a mini Transformer. Like, really, my main flaw is with the third act. Some decisions with that just, I don't think, worked. But overall, this is still a great Wolverine film. This is a near-perfect Wolverine film if the antagonists were good and the third act was better. But it has its moment, it has its great Wolverine moment, it has its great Wolverine accent. And this was the first Wolverine film that James Mangold directed, and I think he did great with that. But with all that, this is still a great Wolverine film to watch. But have you seen The Wolverine? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below and follow me for more.